it is given the world, not just the, the academic community within the UK and Europe, but the, the, goal, the world in general, a, a wide variety of very rich, authentic material which allows them to explore history from the human perspective, from the people who made that history. My students are becoming producers of oral history. They are becoming producers of learning materials. This, um, this project has been, has been a very, very important uh, um, and deep experience, I think. In the Open Lives project, we've done three things. One, we've digitised and published a wealth of important historical research data as open content, and that means anyone can download it and use it for learning and teaching. The data consists of a collection of life history interviews which record different forms of migration from 20th century Spain. These life histories are incredible and powerful and include, for example, Carminal's story as a child evacuee during the Spanish Civil War, Angel's story of life in concentration camps in France, and Rocio's life as an exile in the UK. Alongside these life history interviews, we've published transcripts and synopses in English and Spanish and drawings and photos which illustrate these amazing stories. The second thing we've done is to create open educational resources related to this data. These are resources anyone can download and use, and they include interactive learning materials on research skills, autonomous learning activities, and student-produced videos and magazines. Finally, the third thing we've done is to embed the stories and the materials into teaching at three UK universities, Southampton, Leeds and Portsmouth. Southampton has been using materials for research skills, Portsmouth in language classes for professional communication, and Leeds has created a whole new module for students of Spanish which involves learning research, interview and technical skills, and creating video documentaries related to economic migration. The work of Open Lives is very important because it helps people to have a voice in their own narrative, in their own history, and also it helps others to understand better very complex processes and transformations in our society. What was very, very beautiful uh, for me was to see how my colleagues re-engage with some of these informants who felt validated, who felt that, that the um, the original motivation to share the stories um, was being realized, was taking place. The stories were going to be disseminated and they knew they were going to know where they were going to happen. So this was, this was something that I learned and, and, and in a way it was a way of, of seeing the data go off and take off. It has been very important for me professionally because I have learned uh, many different skills I have developed new career paths, I feel more confident as a practitioner, I think I can offer better education and better learning and teaching to my students. I feel now that I can make a greater difference in student education. The way I've learned what can be done with the material other than writing academic papers uh, in peer-reviewed journals, what can be done pedagogically that, that has been the learning for me. I mean, I'm, I've been inspired by, by con concepts such as um, students as producers. It has allowed me to realize that our students can be good producers of OERs, producers of high quality OERs and partners in research, which I think is, uh, is something I had not explored before. I mean, uh, the quality of what they've produced is really, really good. They have engaged uh, extensively. Uh, this was one project we did with Portsmouth University, which was subtitling a video the students of my colleague Miguel Arrebola have produ had produced. So, in my students, during the translation class, uh, getting involved in subtitling this video, which is, was having to learn all the convention 
for uh, for this uh, for, for for this type of technology, uh, like 30 characters per line, or uh, not not separating the syntactic units, uh, keeping the meaning, keeping the meaning of this voice that was suddenly talking about their lives and their experience. It was an a, an absolute achievement. The next big, big question is, where do we go next with this? How do we consolidate this model of work in which the students are equals to us as researchers, in which we are no longer lecturers, we are facilitators, and we have a responsibility with that global learning community to make sure that these stories continue travelling? Um, how do we ensure the sustainability of the project? Uh, migration and exile continue to, 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 to mark the lives of many people. How do we study the next waves of migration uh, in the Spanish-speaking world, in other worlds? Mm? So I guess this is going to keep us very busy in months to come. <laughs>